Okay, so I was asking whether you all got a chance to practice any more questions of this chapter. You can answer, even if it's no, it's fine. Okay, so I think most of you are here, so we'll start the session. Okay, is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, okay, we'll start with the uh, level one miscellaneous question. Uh, shall we do? Okay, yeah, this seems easy. Okay, the 22nd one. If two positive integers a and b are written as a as x cube y square and b as x y cube, where x and y are prime numbers, find the HCF of a and b. So, how will you do it? Uh, hi, Rishit. No, I just started with uh, question 1.1.22, the 22nd one, miscellaneous, level 1. Yeah, ma'am, your voice is cracking. Oh, is it? Just give me one second. Okay, uh, is it fine now? Is my voice okay? Okay, I was saying uh, we are starting with level 1 miscellaneous question. Question 22. If two positive integers a and b are written as a is equal to x cube y square and b is x y cube where x and y are prime numbers, find the HCF of a and b. So what will it be? How will you do this? No, I'm with some. Uh, the 22nd one. Uh, my screen is visible, right? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, uh, I'll write it here so that there's no further confusion. Ma'am, is it x y cube? Uh, no. So they are saying there are two numbers, okay, a and b. So a is written as x cube y square and b is written as x y cube, isn't it? So what will be the HCF of a and b? Yeah, Krish, your answer is right. Ayush, yes. Pia, yes. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to look at the uh, power of x, which is common both in A and B, and the power of y, which is common in both A and B. Oh, okay, Manasvi, that's why. So it will be nothing but, so which is the highest power of x common in both A and B? Only x, right? So it will be x, and for y it will be? y square. So this will be the HCF. Huh, Rishit, how? How will you get a number? 
Okay, anybody still confused with this question or did you get it? No, no, it's clear. Clear? Okay. Uh, Ma'am, can you show the question again? I joined this now. Like ah, so, yeah, no worries. So, this is the question. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll show you the question once more and solve it once more. If you, if you have doubts. Okay, so I was talking about the 22nd question. If two positive integers a and b are written as a is equal to x cube y square and uh, y is and b is x y cube where x and y are prime numbers, find the HCF of a and b. Right, so it can be written like this. a is x cube y square and b is x y cube, right? So HCF of a and b will be nothing but the highest power of x, highest common power of x. Okay, I'll write it here. How did I get this is nothing but highest uh, common power of x and highest common power of y. So x, the highest common power is only x, right? x to the power 1, isn't it? Because b is x y cube and a is x cube y square. So highest common power of x is 1. That is nothing but x. And y it is. So it's y square and y cube. So I can say y square is common, isn't it? So this is how you get x y square. Okay, let's do one other sum. Okay, hi Ishan. Uh, we just did this question which is there on my uh, board. The 22nd question of level 1. That's all we've done till now. Cool, uh, let's solve some other question. Uh, so, okay. Can you show the answer again, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Done. Shall we move to the next question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, mm. okay, what about the 27th one? The numbers 525 and 3000 are both divisible by 3, 5, 15, 25, and 27. What is the HCF of 525 and 3000? Okay, this is pretty simple. Like you should be able to tell the answer just by looking at the question. Well, yes, which question? I yes. kind of oh, no worries. Uh, the 27th one. So they are saying the numbers 525 and 3000 are both divisible by 3, 5, 15, 25 and 75, right? Yeah. So what is the HCF of these two numbers? Mom, it's 75? Yes, correct. Yeah, and most of you have answered too. I've got your uh, chat. Yeah. Sanat, Vanshika, Shreya, Murtuza, Navya, Rishit, Ayush, Smera, Pia, Ritu. Okay, most of you have answered. Rudra, Krish. Awesome. Anshula, Ritisha. Okay, so you got the logic, right? So they are, they have given you a list of numbers. The two numbers are divisible by. So of course, the highest number will be the HCF. So directly, you can say it's 75. And how will you verify it? 
just by actually doing hcf by prime factorization you, you can do that to verify it or justify okay that was an easy one let's see what else okay what about the 30th one the product of three consecutive positive integers is divisible by 6 is this statement true or false justify your answer i will go step wise can anybody tell me how to go about this Uh, ma'am, and I am guessing like can I say like yeah sure, uh, sure. let yeah so let's take uh, the the number x then the consecutive numbers will be x plus one x x plus one and x plus two and then we need to find the HCF of all three and if the HCF is is six so then no. Uh, I wouldn't say HCF. See, we just need to check if the number will be divisible by six, isn't it? Okay, so you are your first part was correct. So what we'll be doing is which question is this? Sorry, thirtieth uh, one, right? So so you were right about this. So let uh the three consecutive integers or numbers positive integers okay uh b x plus 1 x plus 2 correct so now all we need to show is uh that yeah exactly rishit you are right so yeah all we need to show is that what is divisible by 2 and which one will be divisible by 3 basically right isn't it to be divisible by 6 in order to be divisible by 6 yes mera you have a doubt or you want to explain this question Uh, ma'am it happened by mistake this oh time. okay no problem uh in order to be divisible by 6 the integers should be divisible by 2 and 3 correct okay so let's say so one of them will be even right so if i say that uh, if x is even then x plus 2 will also be even correct correct uh, both will be okay i'll write it here both will be divisible by 2 think i had some connection problem okay yeah okay is my screen visible so it's better if we take an example and uh, you know solve this so if let's say 3 okay three consecutive integers uh, if we say like 2 3 and 4 isn't it so out of which 2 and 4 are divisible by 3 uh, sorry divisible by 2 and 3 uh, is obviously divisible by 3 right so 
all three numbers will be divisible by six. Isn't it? So this statement will be true. Or you can even say this is even, this is even, or even if it is something like this, like they have given an example of 13, 14, and 15, isn't it? In this case, they are saying 14 is even. Okay, if you consider the other way around, like this scenario is if x is even. So if the other scenario is if x plus 1 is even, correct, then 14 is even, uh, 15 is divisible by 3. Oh, you are not able to hear me. Okay, so I was just uh, explaining the second situation. Like this is one situation where if x is even, then x plus 2 will also be even, right? So it, this is the scenario which I took for that. And then there is also another case if in which suppose I take three numbers where x plus 1 is even. Okay, even if I take something like this, 7, 8, 9, isn't it? So this is x, this is x plus 1, and this is x plus 2, isn't it? Correct. So x plus 1 is even. That's what I was trying to say. And x plus 2 is divisible by 3. So actually in your answer key, they have explained it using this saying uh, that uh, if... Okay, I'll just write it here. They are saying that you take three consecutive integers... x x plus 1 x plus 2 if if x plus 1 is even x plus 2 will be divisible by 3 therefore x x plus 1 and x plus 2 will be divisible by 6. Okay. Okay. So, what other question shall we do? Oh, this was not miscellaneous question. These were exemplar questions. Cool. I thought they were miscellaneous. Okay, uh, this is all Euclid's question. Yeah, sure, we'll practice HCF and LCM more. Acha, tell me one thing do you have this tree diagram? You know the three method of factorization. Um, it's actually in school. It is uh, it is not started from this chapter. Oh, this chapter is not done in school. Okay, for all of you. Um, um uh, it's for that school. Okay, what about the other school? Have we did it at Zion, but we did it when like the portion, like the whole thing didn't come. So we mostly paid attention to like Euclid's division, then not like the other stuff very much. Oh, but then uh, I thought you all said Euclid's is not there in your syllabus, right? We, this was the first chapter we did, like in April, maybe. Acha, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, cool, then we solve. More HCF LCM questions. Uh, okay, let's take this one. Find the HCF and LCM of 60, 84, and 108 by using prime factorization method. The 45th question.
anybody stuck on how to do this question so basically you just uh, write each of these numbers as products of their prime factors right and then you find the hcf and lcm the hcf will be the highest common factor among all three numbers and lcm will be the highest uh highest value of a factor in any of the three numbers which question uh, the 45th one okay so you are like giving me answers uh, let me check yep so hcf is correct what about lcm yes here yeah, you are right uh, rishit the 45th question find the hcf and lcm of 60 84 and 108 yes krish shankadeep shreya navya you are right shardul cool okay so everybody got it right how to do this question does anybody want me to solve it no ma okay cool fine then we'll do the next one okay so they have given you uh, two numbers and they have given you the lcm uh, yes sana mera correct okay the next question 46 if the lcm of 26 and 91 is 182 find the hcf so which property are, go are you going to use here uh 26 into 91 will be equal to 182 into hcf awesome so yeah you know the property right so this is the property i'm talking of there is the board so 1.1.46 mom for finding the hcf uh, uh by prime factorization method so like we can prime factorize all the three numbers uh matlab saath mein so like uh Yeah. I got it. So like yeah. all three numbers yeah. So Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was doing all individually so it was taking time. Okay, but if you do that uh, then you will arrive at either one of them, right? You won't get both yes. if you do it together. So because you need both HCF and LCM you need to do it individually. Right? If they've just asked okay, so you any not one not together. Yeah. Not together. Okay. Okay, Shardul has given the answer. Ritisha, did you uh, give the answer? Because I can see only plus 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 here. No, I'm writing something just fell on my keypad. Oh, okay. I didn't write any plus plus. So I'm just noticing it right now. Okay, no worries. I thought maybe you answered and it's you know maybe something no, happened by accident. I didn't answer. I have to still send it. Okay, cool. You all can just say your answer also. That's also fine, huh? Anything which is comfortable with you. Okay. So Krish and Shardul have given me the answer. Yes, that's correct. What about the others? Okay. So this is easy. Uh, uh, don't sit to sit and find the HCF by prime factorization. They have given you to so use this property, product of two numbers, or basically it will be n1 into n2 is equal to LCM into HCF. So how do you get the HCF? It will be nothing but LCM divided by the product of the numbers. This is a very helpful property. You must. Uh, the, I'm the reciprocal of this, right? N one into N two upon LCM, right? Uh, did I make a mistake? Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. It will be the reciprocal. Sorry.
so it will be hcf is nothing but again i'm making a mistake oh god n1 into n2 by lcm correct sorry my bad Ah, Pratim, so that can be simplified. You will get a number. Yes, Mera Shankadeep, that's correct. So what will this be? It will just be 26 into 91 by 182. So the answer is 30. Yes, 30. Cool. So this was easy, easy question. Let's do some difficult ones now. Uh... Okay, yeah, what about this question? Uh, the 48th one. No, 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 wait. Uh, the 50th one. If the HCF of 144 and 180 is expressed in the form of 13m minus 3, find the value of m. How will you do this? Maybe first we find Which one? the HCF. The fiftieth one. Yeah, Rishit, tell me. I think first we find the HCF and then uh, whatever is the answer is equal to that and then we do it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's correct. So you will find the HCF of 144 and 180 by prime factorization and then equate that value with 13m minus 3. So you will get the value of m. Ma'am, in tomorrow's DT, we won't have Euclid. No, there are no questions from Euclid. You don't have it in your syllabus, right? So we won't be keeping it in the DT. Uh, Ma'am, I didn't get the 46th question. Like, uh, what's the need of LCM? Like, we have both the numbers, so we can just do it using prime factorization. Okay, uh, yeah. So these questions are usually asked because they want to test whether you know the property okay. that the product of two numbers is equal to LCM and HCF. So these are small numbers, isn't it? Uh, what is the, which were the numbers? 26 and 91. Yeah. So this, you can do it quickly. They might give you higher numbers, like something in 10,000s or something like that. Right. So if, if that is the case, will you sit and prime factorize those numbers? No, ma'am. No, right yeah so that this property is actually used in that case when they give you complex huge numbers and you want their hcf quickly so you use that the product of two numbers is hcf into lcf uh this is a Does you know, formula work if there's like three numbers uh, no it works only for two numbers only product of two numbers. Otherwise, they would have just specified product of numbers is HCF into LCM. But they are very specific. The product of two numbers is HCF into LCM. This question usually comes in competitive exams later on. Where they test your, uh, you know, thinking, problem solving ability to be precise. Those kind of places this comes. Okay, so anybody who didn't get the 50th one or all of you got it? Yeah, most of your answers are correct. Uh, Rishit, Shreya. Okay, Pratim wants me to solve the question. Cool, I'll solve it. Uh, okay, so what you need to do here is just this. So they have given you two numbers, right? Which are the two numbers? 144 and 180 and they have also given you that HCF is equal to 13m minus 3 correct so all you need to do is you just need to prime factorize both the numbers so this will be nothing but 272 to Yeah.
right and same for 180 so this will be 2 right so from here you can see so what will be the hcf be 2 2 square into 3 square am i right ma'am below yes, the ma 2 in 180 i think there should be 2 2 90 45 like that okay but yeah you can do it this way also so 2 90 is a 180 then 3 30 is a 90 3 tens are 30, so I got another 2 here, right? 2 fives are I 10. Totally and LCM is 720. Oh, but you just need to find the HCF here. Why are you finding the LCM? Oh, okay. I do not know. Why is <laughs> Okay, so here this is like an equation based question, right? They have given you the HCF is 13M minus 3, and you need to find M. So what will you do using the two numbers you find the HCF value so you get a number here and then equate it with this 3m minus 30. So this is basically 4 into 9 right 4 into 9 plus 3 is 13m so 36 plus 3 39 is 13m 39 by 13 is m therefore m is 3 correct you don't need to find LCM. Yeah, Pratim, so what you were saying, uh, using two 90s of 180 and then 245, you can do that also. You'll get the same factors. The factors won't change. Okay, uh, so you got this, right? There are many questions based on this same format, like the 49th one. Here they have given you the LCM and an equation. So... You just, you know, solve it similar way, just like you did for HCF. In this case, you find the LCM and then you get M. Okay, yeah, interesting question. So I think mostly you will be getting these type of questions in your exam, like the 52nd one. They are mostly going to be word problems in which you need to decide whether you need to find the LCM or the HCF. Okay, on... GT road, three consecutive traffic lights change after 36, 42 and 72 seconds. If the lights are first switched on at 9 a.m., then what and what time will they change simultaneously? Who can tell me how to do this? Um, won't we have to take the LCM of this? Okay, so yeah, you do have to take the LCM. So how will you decide whether you need to take LCM or HCF? Like on what basis are you saying you need the LCM? You need to take the LCM? Uh, because we need to see when they uh, change time when they change together at the first time okay so okay yeah so what you're saying is correct so because you need to see all three together right you will be taking the lcm so how will you solve this you do prime factorization method you find the LCM of 36, 42, and 72, and then so that won't be it, right? You will come to something. You have to calculate what time they will change simultaneously. Okay, let's do the LCM, then I'll tell you how to go about it. Kirish has already answered. Not Kirish, three, right? is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, the tree diagram is important. Uh, tree, tree diagram uh, is basically something like prime factorization itself. So it's on the similar lines. It's not uh, something totally different. Okay, we'll do this question. Then I'll do one tree diagram question. Okay. Cool. 
Manasri, let me check. Is that the LCM? No, that's not the LCM. You'll have to check again. Yes, Murtuza, your answer is correct. Okay, try it. I'm going to give you one more minute to try it, then I'll solve. Uh, I was talking of the 52nd question. Um, Ma'am, we don't have those questions like uh, prove that uh, root 3 is uh, irrational. Oh, we did those, no, in last class? Yeah, but now, like in the exercise part, we don't have those questions. Okay, those, okay, yeah. Like there's no advanced question for that. No, like hard so there were like only those questions. Yeah, yeah because I think this chapter actually focused on Euclid's division lemma. Okay. Yeah, it did not focus much on all that. It used to focus more on the division lemma part because there were proof based questions using that. That's what used to actually come in the exam. So now I don't even know what they'll ask you in the exam because finding HCF and LCM are simple one or two mark questions. They can't extend it beyond that. So really don't know. <clears throat> Okay, should I do this question? Uh, Pratim, is that? Yeah, sure, I'll explain this one again. Okay, so basically it says that uh, on a road, okay, say GT road, uh, three consecutive traffic lights change after, okay, so why don't I draw it here and explain it to you. Okay, the question is 52. Okay, so just uh, let's say there are three traffic lights, right? So the first one changes after 36 seconds. The second one changes after 42 seconds. And the third one changes after 72 seconds. Okay, so you know that, so they are also telling you that at some point they change together. Okay, at some point, all this, uh, the timing of changing will be the same. Okay, and they have told you that such, uh, you know, that such a time where they change simultaneously is 9 a.m. Right, is 9 a.m. Okay, they are switched on at 9 a.m. So they are switched on at 9 a.m. So obviously that time all th will be, uh, you know, at the same thing or they will have the same signal at that time how should i say yeah so if they are switched on at 9 a.m you need to find the time the next you know the next time slot where all three will change at the same time so they are saying so here's the catch of the question that all three Okay, I'll write it here. All three change at the same time. Right. So, so this fact leads you to say that you need to find the LCM. Because you need to find the lowest common uh, value that will give you the time that will give you, you know, if you add that value to this time, you will get the next time slot where all three will change together. Are you getting it or am I just confusing you more? The yes being, I'm confusing you more. <laughs> Understanding. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so what I'll do is there, there must be one more question like this where you need to find HCF also. I'll, I'll explain that one also to you. So then it will be clear like where you need to find LCM and where do you need to find uh, HCF. Okay, so minus V, I'll explain to you once again. See, they are telling you that there are three signals. Okay, right? Three signals which change at different time intervals so one of them takes 36 seconds to change one changes at 42 seconds one changes at 72 seconds correct so now you need to find the value yeah yeah i'll tell you where to find hcf and where to find lc so yeah you need to find the value which is common to this to all three isn't it So why do you say LCM is because you need to find when all three will change together, right? So if I'm going to take the HCF in this case, I won't get... Ma'am, the question has asked with time, like at what time uh, does all three uh, lights up or like the seconds? They have asked the time. So like it's 9 a.m. What time? Like 10 a.m., 11 a.m.? what time will they change again so all you need to do is you find the lcm you convert it into minutes and add it to this okay i'll i'll do it here so what do you need to do is first find prime factors of 36 42 and 72 correct oh, 72 76 And then you find the LCM. Convert LCM into minutes. Add it to 9 a. Isn't it? Okay, so you got it till here, right? You got the LCM. So LCM is nothing but this step I'm not doing. This step you should be familiar by now. So the LCM is nothing but so this value is 504. So now you've got this value 504. So you convert it into minutes. So this is seconds. Obviously because these three are in seconds. This is also in seconds. So you convert it into minutes right by dividing it by 60. Oh, Mom, uh, if how do you know that uh, if where to find the LCM and where to find HCF? Okay, so one of the factors here is here you need to find LCM because all three change at the same time. Right. So uh, I'll, I'll just show you another question. Uh, you know, let me just see. There must be another question where they need to find HCF. So I'll show you the difference between the two and tell you. Okay. Where you need to find LCM and where you need okay. to find okay. Okay. So, Yeah. So then you solve this, you will get something like 8 minutes and some seconds, obviously. Right? So 8 minutes, 24 seconds. So what do you do as the last step? You just add it to 9 a.m. So the next time, so what it will be? The lights change simultaneously after 8 minute 24 seconds or we can just say 908 right this is how you express it right okay so just let me see
okay uh, let me see if i can find another question like this Ah, here it is, but I don't know whether it's the same. Just give me a second. Okay, what about this question? Uh, the 1.2.8. So there is a circular path around a sports field. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive around one round of the field, while Ravi takes 12 minutes for the same. Suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time and go in the same direction. After how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? So what will you find in this case? Just tell me that. What will you find? You will find the HCF or the LCM. You are directly giving me answers. Just tell me what are you going to find. I'm writing HCF. HCF. Why do you say so? Just tell me your reason behind it. That's all. Uh, Ma'am, because uh, the time will be added, right? So. The common time between Sonia and Ravi's uh, time is will be the LCM. Ha. Huh. Okay. I thought you were giving me reason for LCM. Okay. No, LCM. LCM. Correct. Okay. So basically, what you need to look at here is that LCM will be the least. Whenever they ask you that, you know, what is the least time or what is the uh, common time it's usually the lcm right also in this case so you know it takes one is 18 minutes the other is 12 minutes okay so you if you find the hcf of that that will be like uh, you might get what will you get at the hcf of 18 and 12 it will be just a second no finishing point six Six. So HCF will be six, isn't it? Eighteen and twelve. Yeah, it's together. So LCM, correct? Yeah. So in this question, you use you actually find the LCM. That's correct. Your reasoning are also correct because they say they meet together. Okay. So I can uh, I don't know how to explain this in a simpler way, but yeah, you can take this as a hint. That whenever they tell you uh, meet again or all three simultaneously, any such hints in the question, always take the LCM. Okay, because you need to find the, uh, you know, you are finding all possible ways where they are going to meet. Okay, yeah, I think I I, I understood how to explain it to you. Okay, so basically. Yeah, HCF is nothing but you will get only the highest common value between them, isn't it? Right. So this this will lead give you only one uh, case where you know they meet simultaneously. Isn't it? Whereas if you take the LCM of any two numbers of or you take the LCM in general, what is the LCM is basically you are finding all you are finding all possible values which are common between them, isn't it? So this if you calculate the LCM, you will get all cases where they meet. Simultaneously.
okay yeah so you got it right so this question also all you need to do is you need to find the lcm and then after how many minutes will they meet will be just the lcm they have not given you a starting time right so just 36 minutes it will be okay yeah, Anjul Aditya, you were asking more uh, proving irrational questions, right? Here there are more. Uh, prove that 3 plus yes, five and the next, the 10th one. I think you can practice these on your own because they are, you know, the same. Yeah, standards. same. Answer. Yeah. Okay, let me take up some questions which are different. Ha. Huh. Cool. Uh, this is a nice question. The 13th one. An army contingent of 16, 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? So what will you find here? Mom, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's maximum, that's all. Awesome, yes. Yes. So, because you see the word maximum. Okay, so these are some kind of keywords uh, which you get, you know, after doing word problems. Uh, what I'll do is, let me see. Today after class, I'll uh, try to search for more word problems like this. Okay, and I'll share it with you all. So try practicing those word problems. Then you will, you know, get a grasp that what to do at CF or LC. Because this, this really, I, I really don't know how to, you know, uh, give you a clear cut hint saying that if this is the keyword, then you should do this. Uh, the, nothing like that is there. Okay. I'll, I'll search for, definitely I'll search for more word problems and I'll send it across. Cool. Yeah. So you all are right. Then this question, it says maximum. That's why you need to find HCF. So just break down the definition of HCF and LCM or just the, you know, the full form. Right? Just the full form of HCF and LCM. So highest common multiple whenever they say maximum related with highest. So find HCF. And whenever they say, uh, you know, meet simultaneously or least or you know something like that lcf oh you forgot how to find hcf okay okay so okay i'll just give you a hint here cool hcf basically you need to find i know it's a bit confusing but uh, you need to practice a lot for getting this correct right so hcf is basically the highest common power of a prime factor between any two three numbers okay if you all want you all can write this down this this thing here don't write the above statements this statement which i'm writing below the blue line okay to help you find out the hcf and lcm so hcf is Highest common power of a prime factor between any two or three numbers or more numbers. Right? And what is the LCM? LCM is basically the highest power of each prime factor. So you take all the prime factors into consideration. Not just which are common, but which exist. Like there must be a number which has 5 as a prime factor but the other doesn't have so you will include 5 also highest power of each prime factors right that's it so a product okay should i add that product of all highest power of each prime factors okay you can write this down somewhere Okay, cool. Uh, let me see if there is more word problems. Mm. So Mom, it's LCM is like uh, product of all highest power of each prime factor, yes, ma'am? 
Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, do you want me to explain it with an example? I'll do that. So, okay. Uh, in this situation, let's say like I'm taking two numbers. Okay, I'll explain this once again in case you all are confused. So, I'm taking two numbers, 36 and 40. Okay. So, how do you... First, I do prime factorization. Right? And I get prime factors. Same I do for the other number. Correct? So now I'll write it here like this. So this is 2 square into 3 square. So this is generally how it's written. Um, Ma'am, which question are you explaining? No, I'm not explaining any question. I'm just explaining how do you find HCF and LCM. I think few oh, of them okay. had some doubts. Okay. Huh. So, HCF will be what? HCF will be the highest common power of a prime factor. So, I'm going to say 2 is common, correct? But it's not just 2. I can say 2 square is common, correct? So, HCF will be 2 square. That's all. No other uh, prime factor is common. Okay, and LCM will be what? LCM will be highest power of each prime factor. Not in 1. You consider all the numbers. So, uh, like in this situation, there are two numbers and 2 power 3 is the highest, correct? Then I move to the next prime factor, which is 3. So, which will be 3 square. This will be n into 5 power 1, correct? All the other prime factors are 0. That's why it won't be reflected, isn't it? So, LCM will be this. Okay, yeah, practice as many questions as you can to get a good grip of this because this is this can get confusing later. Isn't it? Okay, we'll do one more word problem. Uh, the 28th one, 1.2.28. On a morning walk, three persons step off together and their steps measure 42, 40, 42 and 45 respectively. What is the minimum distance? Uh, okay, what is the minimum distance each should walk so that each can cover the same distance in complete steps. HCF or LCM? Ma'am, this is HCF. HCF, HCF. HCF, why? Ma'am, because it's asking the minimum distance. So, like, if you will find LCM, then... Should it be LCM? Because it's asking minimum. Ha. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I do think it is LCM. Ansel, I think you got confused. Okay. So, you see, in okay. the previous question, we did the army contingent question. Okay, right? yeah, it's a similar question. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, and then minimum. it was, they asked the maximum number of columns. Yeah. So, in that, we took HCF. So, whenever they say minimum distance, it will be okay. LCM. So, try relating okay. it just with the full form. Like, whenever they say highest or maximum or greatest, yeah. it will always be HCF. They say minimum, least, something like that. This is like one small uh, clue or hint I can give you all. Now let me see what the way, simpler way I can, you know, explain maybe other questions. Okay, so you got it right. So all these questions, the key is only identifying what you need to find at CF or LCF. Then you will be able to solve it easily. Cool. Okay, but why are you all giving me different answers? Okay, let me check what is the answer. Okay, it's uh, Murtuza, your answer seems to be wrong. Just check your calculation once. So the LCM of 40, 42 and 45 will be 2520. Correct? So you'll just say what is the minimum distance will be directly 2520 centimeter. So I hope, I'm just discussing them, but I hope you all are solving these questions and writing them in your book. Okay? Right. Just don't write you need to find LCM. Find the LCM and write the value there. Okay. Mm. Okay, one more. Oh, there are many here. Awesome. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize there are many word problems here. Okay, what about the 32nd one? No, no, no. The 33rd one. Ravi and Shikha drive around a circular sports field. Ravi takes 16 minutes to complete one round while Shikha completes the round in 20 minutes. If both start at the same point at the same time and go in the same direction, then how much time will they meet? Then after how much time will they meet at the starting point? HCF or LCM? LCM. 
LCM. Okay, what about the others? What happened? No response. HCA for LCM, the 33rd one. It's actually similar. We did this question before. Okay, uh, do you remember this question? I'm scrolling up. I think LCM. Um, do you remember 1.2.8? Uh, this question about Ravi and Sonia after how many minutes they meet again at starting point? Isn't this question the same as that? So it will be LCM, right? Okay, you are directly. People answered LCM. You are directly giving me the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all did. I got them now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pratim wants got stuck on twenty eighth. Okay. Pratim, where exactly did you get stuck? Can you tell me? Ma'am, can you show the question again or is it the 28th one? No, no, the 33rd one. I was discussing the 33rd one. Oh, okay. So, Pratim, you found the prime factors, right? So then, what will you do? I just showed you, right, of how to get the LCM and HCF. This way. Yeah, LCM will be the high product of highest power of each factor, of each prime factor. So, just multiply all the highest prime factors. Uh, 28, what are the factors? So, it will be, yeah, it will be 2 cube into 3 square. I'll write it here. So, just check if you get this. It should be 2 cube into 3 square into 5 into 7. So, you get 2, 5, 2, 0. Huh? How are you getting that? Okay, Pratim, I'll, I'll quickly show you how to do this. Okay, I'm quickly solving uh, one point. One point. What was the question? Ah, uh, one point two point two eight. Correct. Uh, yeah, so I need to find um, the class is till 4 o'clock, right? Or is it till 4.30? I thought you all uh, I thought we did quite a few questions last class, right? So I kept it only for one hour, but now you all are saying there were difficulty in word problems, so let's do them Is it fine? Or do you want to go? Now, after this question, can you just give some of the sums for homework? We'll do that. Oh. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll do that. 221. And 48, right? 45. Sorry. Yeah, so highest power of 2 is 2 power 3. Highest power of 3 is 3 square. Then 5 is just 5. And uh, 7 is also just 7. So where did you get stuck, Pratim? I did not understand. I've solved it, so now it should be fine. Right? So if you multiply all of this, you will get 2520. Check your uh, prime factorization once. Okay, since you all are saying you want to go, okay, I'll give you questions which you can do.
okay uh, do these questions 1.2.34 Three four three five three six three six then uh, yeah one point three point five that's all I don't want to give you all too many. Yeah, level four has more complicated word problems, but we won't do that now. We'll do that later. Okay. Cool. So there are how many I sums I gave you? One, two, three, and four. Yeah, four questions. One point two point three four, three five, three six, and one point three point five. That's all. Oh, you want me to send it on the group? Okay, cool. Okay, I'll send it. I'll send it, guys. Or okay, should I just write it here? I'll write it here. Isn't that better? Homework. One point, two point. Three, four, three, five, three, six. 1.3.5 that's all four questions just do them don't submit them anywhere do them later when we give you all the complete homework you can submit it with that when we assign homework for this chapter Okay, you all got it right. You all can practice other sums also. There is no issue, right? And if you find any doubt in any question, message on the group or message me. I'll help you out. Okay, then you can leave. If nobody has any doubts, you all can leave. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, bye.